it's Tom here and welcome to the latest Darwin Nunez to Liverpool massive transfer update. If you enjoy these transfer news videos on my channel every day, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification and of course smash the like button because Uruguayan reporter Sebas Giovanni has stated that Liverpool and Benfica yesterday advanced their discussions and Jurgen Klopp is going to be Darwin Nunez's coach so he is going to Liverpool but Manchester United throw a spanner in the works because Kevin Palmer confirmed that there are significant stumbling blocks uh, still to be overcome to get Liverpool's deal with Benfica star Nunez over the line. Liverpool bid 68 million pounds plus add-ons which will take the total transfer fee to over 75 million pounds and that will match uh, Benfica's asking price. And one obstacle according to Kevin Palmer is that Manchester United also want to sign Nunez but Nunez's clear preference is Liverpool but Eric Ten Hag, the new Manchester United manager and Jorge Mendes, the agent of Darwin Nunez met yesterday in a desperate last attempt uh, to swing the balance back into Man United's favour. While Nunez has made it clear that he wants to sign for Liverpool, it remains to be seen whether Benfica's owners will sanction a, a deal and also whether Liverpool's owners will sanction a deal to break the club's transfer record of £75 million for Virgin van Dijk. Benfica are believed to be looking for a package close to £85 million pounds to sell this summer as they appreciate they are in a strong negotiating position with two big clubs like Man United and Liverpool competing for Nunez's signature. Nunez appears to play with a tempo and invention that would ensure he fits neatly into the Liverpool side but Man United's interest in the forward could still be a factor and this morning I watched Darwin Nunez's highlights when he played Liverpool at Anfield where he scored a hat-trick of brilliant goals Two of them were disallowed for offside and overall he was absolutely electric and he is a lot faster than you would think when you first look at him. He's very tall, 187 centimeters tall, that's like 6 foot 2 inches tall and he still outpaced Joel Matip pretty easily and comfortably and he has a very very good acceleration and sprint speed. And that is remarkable for a player who is such a tall player like Darwin Nunez. Because Man United are only in the Europa League and they just had their worst season for more than 20 years, I think. It's very hard to imagine what Man United could offer to Darwin Nunez to convince him to go to Man United instead of Liverpool. Because Liverpool would offer him a pretty awesome salary or weekly wage. Man United could offer double. But you are still playing Europa League football and you are still going to a club in transition. You are still going to a club who are rebuilding. And it would take at least a couple of years for Man United to challenge for big trophies. Liverpool are challenging right now. And next season, Liverpool are going to have a very, very strong season. So why, would, why on earth would Darwin Nunez go to Man United? Unless he just wants to earn as much money as possible. But then he should go to maybe uh, Saudi Arabia or uh, Middle Eastern country. Man United can offer higher wages than Liverpool, but they can't offer a better sporting project, uh, far from it. And the Liverpool expert said that Man United's only real intentions regarding, Man United, regarding Darwin Nunez is to make it seem as if they are still a serious player in the transfer market to boost their own egg egos and to perhaps get Liverpool to end up paying more uh, for, for Darwin Nunez in terms of the transfer fee. They know that um, Darwin Nunez wants Liverpool. And I think this is Benfica's attempt as well to make Liverpool pay just a little bit more for Darwin Nunez because Benfica can say if you don't pay our asking price we will just sell the players to Man United. So it's a very very intricate clever chess play between Benfica and Liverpool and Man United as well. Everyone knows what Darwin Nunez wants that's moving to Liverpool and how advanced the deal is. I mean personal terms have been agreed Darwin Nunez is waiting just for Benfica to say you can fly to Liverpool and get your medical done. Man United's rumored late attempt might be troublesome, but it's not that serious. Uh, let's hope that Darwin Nunez doesn't just want to get as much money as possible and he, he values the sporting project of Liverpool, which is by far better than Manchester United right now. 
And you might also argue, do, Liverpool, do Man United really need another striker? They have Ronaldo, they just signed Jadon Sancho as well, they will have Marcus Rashford next season, maybe Martial as well. And yes, they are selling Pogba, Matic is leaving, so they probably need midfielders instead of uh, blowing 80 million pounds on a striker when Ronaldo will play centrally next season in the position that Darwin Nunez plays. So why would you drop 80 million on Darwin Nunez when you need to strengthen your team everywhere else basically but the striker position? And the Daily Mail is reporting that Liverpool's deal for Nunez uh, is practically sealed because uh, Liverpool with add-ons will pay 85 million for Darwin Nunez to Benfica if all the clauses, bonuses and add-ons are triggered and I think there will be a lot of stipulations and a lot of rules on when those add-ons will, will be paid but uh, basically the Daily Mail is reporting that Darwin Nunez already said yes to Liverpool and to the transfer and personal terms uh, are sorted, it's agreed and Portuguese outlet Abola claims that uh, the switch is more or less a done deal, saying it is practically sealed. So it's, uh, it's very, very encouraging news. We are just waiting for the final confirmation from Benfica that they have agreed the deal officially. And I really love that Liverpool are thinking long term and we are not like crying in our bed after Mane said that he wants to leave. Straight away we got on the offensive, we, tr we, we selected out of all the high-profile strikers who would fit into Jurgen Klopp's and Liverpool's long-term plan the most and we are going for him. Darwin Nunez will be or, or he is probably Liverpool's number one transfer target and I think the main reason why we are going here for him is that Sadio Mane is leaving and we are also selling Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain Takumi Minamino, Ned Phillips, um, maybe even Neko Williams. So there is a lot of players moving on for 10, 15 million. Of course, in Mane's case, we are hoping for 40 million pounds. And uh, if you add those up, we can break even. We can basically regenerate the money from player sales that we have to pay to Benfica, which is pretty awesome. And I also found an interview from Jose Gomez, who was Darwin Nunez's coach at Almeria, that was the club before he played for Benfica and this is what he said uh, Nunez is a good fit not only for Jurgen Klopp the coach himself who is a motivator and enthusiastic but also for the style of play that Liverpool pushes Klopp likes to look for spaces behind opposing defensive lines which means that we can say that Darwin will feel like a free fish in water because speed, speed and quick attack are characteristics that he favours Nunez has a skill set that contrasts uh, to that of uh, Salamani, Firmino Jota, and of course the departing Origi and also the January transfer of Luis Diaz, so the January player of Luis Diaz. Darwin Nunez is going to be uh, fitting into the Liverpool style of play, but also we will have uh, small uh, tweaks and alterations to our tactics and we can play even different systems with Darwin Nunez up front. One of the biggest, uh, you know, reasons why Liverpool are getting Darwin Nunez is that we have so many crosses in every game and very few of them are converted into goals. For example, just one game, we played Tottenham at Anfield in a 1-1 draw which was very frustrating because that ultimately cost us the title, that was the two drop points that would have won us the title if we managed to win that game and we put 46 crosses into the box and not one of them were converted into a goal. The 46 crosses, that's like one cross every two minutes. And still Liverpool didn't score one single goal from those 46 crosses. So Liverpool need to have a different type of player. And Darwin Nunez, who is 6 foot 2, he will convert those crosses into goals. And you know what's also very impressive is that you know who scored only more goals, more league goals than Darwin Nunez last season? Only Lewandowski, Mbappe, Benzema and Immobile scored more league goals than Darwin Nunez across Europe's top five leagues, which is pretty impressive. And what is more impressive, even more impressive than, than that, is that Darwin Nunez is number one for minutes per goal. He scores every 76 minutes one goal, and that puts him top among strikers who played at least a thousand minutes. 
so who play regularly in these top five leagues. And another journalist, ESPN's Adriana Garcia, is saying that uh, 85 million pounds for Darwin Nunez in total, including add-ons, bonuses, and uh, the upfront fee may seem like quite a steep price, yet it would seem that Liverpool have negotiated a big discount on the Darwin Nunez transfer because originally Benfica wanted £110 million. But I think they realized quickly that, that they are going to get a lot of money anyway and £110 million, nobody would really pay that. That's absolutely ridiculous. That's almost twice as much as Haaland cost. Uh, and also Benfica, I think if they sell Darwin Nunez right now, they can maximize their uh, you know, finances because who knows, uh, one year from now, Darwin Nunez might not cost as much money. And also I think it makes sense for Benfica to sell Nunez because they are a club who, who benefit from this sale because they can reinvest that money into their club, into their youth program and uh, you know, they can't, they can't pay uh, Darwin Nunez the kind of wages that he deserves now that he's a top striker, top European striker. I mean, he scored six goals in the Champions League in 10 games, so Benfica won't be able to, to sustain uh, these kind of players in their squad. That's why they are a selling club, because the Portuguese league just uh, financially can't sustain the level of investment that would be needed for a player like Darwin Nunez to, to stay at Benfica and to earn big big wages and also Darwin Nunez wants to win the Champions League and he has almost zero chance of doing that at Benfica no disrespect uh, to Benfica but they they are not Champions League contenders uh, and I think Darwin Nunez uh, is very ambitious and he wants to move to one of the biggest clubs in the world Liverpool and I'm really excited after he signs to hopefully see him play in pre-season and uh, to see how many goals he scores for Liverpool this season, I think he will be a big success. And Fabrizio Romano also confirmed that Minamino is ready to leave Liverpool. He has a very good chance of leaving. The club is ready to listen to bids and proposals for Takumi Minamino. Leeds have been following him for months, but Liverpool are waiting for an official bid. The player is ready to leave Liverpool because Jurgen Klopp will have other priorities in that position. We are interested in Darwin Nunez. We are also interested in Tanjuma of Villarreal and uh, Minamino's price tag is around 15 million pounds. Inter Milan have shown no interest despite the rumors. Uh, nothing dis is decided yet, but Leeds looks uh, more likely bet. Minamino has been a little unlucky not to establish himself at Liverpool with so much world-class competition up front, and I think that kind of price means he could be a great signing for a summer for a number of Premier League clubs this summer. So I really, really wish Minamino would would have arrived at Liverpool at a time where we didn't have such a world-class team. Because in any other Liverpool era, Minamino would have definitely been a regular player and a regular starter at Liverpool. But in this era, where we have almost in every position world-class players. It's, uh, it, it's better for him to move on and to score goals uh, every, uh, every, at another club. And that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this. Have a nice day. See you later. Bye.